Hey everybody, welcome back for another video today. Um, today I wanted to talk to you guys about how my maintenance journey on Manjaro has been going. So if you are new here, I started on Manjaro in November of 2022 and I lost 60 pounds on Manjaro between like November and June of 2023. Then I took a month off of Manjaro trying you know, just to see how I did off of it. And then I ended up going back on Manjaro. However, now I am in maintenance mode and I'm only taking a shot every two weeks. Now, maintenance mode can look different for everybody. So some people might just lower your dose to the two and a half milligram or the five milligram and still take a weekly shot. For me personally, after discussing with my doctor, we thought it would be a good idea to stay on the 12 and a half milligrams, but I'm only taking a shot once every two weeks. So um, yeah, that's kind of how we're doing it. We did that for two reasons. One, financial reasons. Uh, most of you know that for a long time, I was able to get the shot uh, for $25 a month. However, now I am paying the $500 a month. So spreading it out over every two weeks makes it $250 a month instead of $500 a month, which is still pretty expensive, but much more cost effective. So that is kind of what I've been doing. And I have been on two full cycles of that so far. And I just took the third shot. So it's been about four, no, I guess six weeks since I started back on Manjaro, um, give or take, because the first one, I didn't go a full two weeks. I went like 10 days and then I went 12 days. And then this one is, is 14 days. So we're kind of like building up to the 14 days. So I wanted to touch on a few things, but before I do, before I forget, um, I am wanting to film a Q and A video. So if you have any questions for me, I realized that I had never done one here on this channel before. So if you have any questions for me regarding Manjaro, um, regarding just life in general, anything about me that you want to know, ask me down below. Um, I already have a few questions that people asked me on the community post that I made. So I will take all those questions together and make a Q and A video for you guys, hopefully in the next week or so. Okay. Also the dog is walking around. That's all the little tippy tappies you're hearing. But every time I go to film a video, she gets up and starts walking around. I just, it is what it is. Okay. So the couple things that I wanted to touch on first is my weight. So when I went off of Manjaro, I weighed about 170 to 174 pounds. It would fluctuate between those, those four pounds. That's when I stopped Manjaro. When I started Manjaro back, I was still in that range, but I was pretty consistently like 173, 174. So I don't really even consider that gaining because most information will tell you that maintenance is like plus or minus five pounds. Like, you know, that people just fluctuate on a daily basis. So I was 173, 174 when I went back on Manjaro and now I am back to that low end of the 170. Sometimes even this morning I was 169. So it really just depends on, uh, you know, like what I've eaten the day before when I've weighed or whatever. I really only weigh myself about once a week, sometimes only once every two weeks, but really I think that the every two week shots so far has been very effective for me for maintaining weight loss. Um, and hopefully that stays true. Now, another um, thing that I wanted to touch on is hunger, because obviously if you're spreading out over two weeks, um, you might worry about getting hungry towards the end of your two week period. So I take the shot obviously on Fridays, that's my day. The last cycle, the one that I went a full two weeks, um, so today is Monday, Labor Day, the same day you're seeing it as I am filming this video. I took my shot this past Friday, so it was a full two weeks. Um, the first week and a half, I would say, were completely normal. I felt uh, like normal Manjaro Brittany, how it, it always is. You don't have the food noise, you don't really want um, to eat, your stomach doesn't growl, but you eat when you're supposed to, that sort of thing. However, the probably like Wednesday through Friday, Wednesday for sure, I started noticing that my stomach would actually growl at mealtime, which was not um, a thing that I, I, haven't, I haven't really experienced stomach growling in almost a year. So that was different. And then Thursday, I was a little bit more hungry. And Friday, I was about the same as I was Thursday. So I did notice that I ate a little bit more 
Still nothing crazy because I still had some Manjaro in my system, but I did eat a little bit more probably on Thursday and Friday. However, how I'm looking at it is we're trying to maintain, we're not trying to lose. So even if you do eat more for two or three days at the end of your two week cycle, then you're gonna take another shot and you're gonna, it, like overall it should, in theory, even out. And so far that seems to be what is happening for me. So another thing that I thought you guys might want me to just touch on is if I'm having any more uh, difficult or more increased side effects since I am spreading them out over um, a two week period. And I will say that I do think that the side effects are slightly worse. I had gotten to a point really where when I was taking 12 and a half milligrams every single week, I didn't notice any side effects at all. Um, it, when I was consistently taking it weekly, I really, I didn't notice anything. Every once in a while I would have like some of the sulfur belches, but nothing really. Now when I take my shot for the first day to two days, I'm not having any like diarrhea or nausea or anything, but I do feel extremely full. So I took my shot this past Friday and Saturday, Chris and I actually went on a date. We went to the Cheesecake Factory and I ate, I mean, a normal amount for me. Like I didn't push myself to eat more or whatever, but I was not able to eat the rest of the day. Most of that night I was a, like awake just with my stomach feeling uncomfortably full. Like there was a ball sitting in my stomach. So I do think I am having slightly higher side effects just because um, I'm spreading them out every two weeks. And so my body is depleting more of the Manjaro before I'm giving it more. So that's kind of that's kind of how I'm explaining that away. But overall, it's nothing that I can't handle. If you guys have been here a while, then you know that 10 milligrams was about the death of me. And if I can get through that, then I can get through pretty much anything. So I honestly have no complaints. And I really wish that I had gone to every two weeks, probably like in May when I was just about done losing all the weight because I could have stockpiled some Manjaro for when my coupon expired and I it, I probably would have ended up the same weight that I am now because I haven't really lost anything since then. So hindsight's 2020, but I am doing wonderful on it. Um, so let me know if you have any more questions about maintenance, I will be happy to answer them. This is a newer journey that I'm going on and I know that this is a new journey that a lot of us are gonna be embarking on since uh, a lot of us that started around the same time have lost all of our weight or are getting close to the point where we are wanting to maintain and maintaining with or without Manjaro or Wagovi or Ozempic, man maintaining weight loss in any form is a whole different ball game than losing weight. So uh, it's a journey, it's gonna be a journey and I hope you'll stick around for it. Don't forget to leave your questions down below for me and I will get to filming that Q&A video within the next several days and I will see you guys soon. Have a great day guys, bye.